How can you carry out the following transformation? Mechanism is not required. So the first thing we do is number the carbons, okay, that we have. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so it means that we are adding two carbons. The way we have learned how to add carbons uh, yet is by using an alkanide ion and by using an alkyl halide. So if you add these two together, they will add up to form a carbon-carbon bond using sort of like an SN2 mechanism. So that's what we will have to add. So now I have to figure out, um, am I going to add the alkyl halide? So which means that my four carbon fragment that I have here, is this the alkyne? or is this the alkyl halide, okay, which one is this? So for that, I'm going to have to look at uh, the double bond that I have between three and four here. And I also have a double bond here also between three and four carbons. So which means that I need to either retain my double bond or I need to make it again, okay? And the best way to make a double bond is of course from an alkyne or an alkyl halide. And so using the fact that I have a four carbon fragment to begin with, and it's in the same fragment that I have the double bond, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one as an alkyne and I'm going to add the alkyl halide, okay? So I'm not going to turn my alkene or the starting material into an alkyl halide, all right? So my thought process then is that I'm going to turn my alkene into an alkyne and then I'm going to add the alkyl halide to that and then I will get the long chain, okay? And this is going to be the long chain alkyne, and then I will do hydrogenation on that, okay? So that's my thought process. So keeping that in mind, now I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So for the first one, <clears throat> in order to form the alkyne, okay, I have to have something to eliminate because I'm going from a double bond to a triple bond. So in order to eliminate something, I need to add something in order to have that as a leaving group, okay? So what I'm going to add is going to be bromine over here. And so which means that this is what I get. And now I can do elimination on that. And so the elimination that I will do is going to be by using a strong base. So excess of Na and H2, that should work and that will give me the alkyne that I need. And so that's one, two, three, four, okay? So now I need to add my two carbons to this, but before I can do that, I need to turn this into a base, okay? Because this is an acid. So my first thing that I'm going to add is Na and H2 and the NaNH2 was gonna convert this into the base, okay? And let me write that out, why not? So here is that, and this is the base then, okay? So we don't need the one there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the two carbon fragment that I need. So this is my alkyl halide that I'm going to add. So now I have my um, triple bond in the middle here, one, two, on the side here and I added two carbons on the other side. So that's what we have. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are good with the number of carbons. All I need to do now is to make the double bond. Now the double bond that I have here is actually a cis double bond, which means that <clears throat> I need to use very specific reagent and the very specific reagent that we use here are going to be the Lindlar's catalyst because the Lindlar's catalyst is gonna give me a cis double bond, and so that will give me the product. So what happened here is that <clears throat> this became a little bit of a long synthesis, where when you look at the starting material in the product, it seems you're just adding two carbons, but it's not all that straightforward to add just the two carbons. You need to first add something to eliminate, then you need to eliminate that once you have a carbon compound that can actually add on carbons, okay? That's what you have to do. So you have to turn it into a base, okay, in order to form a nucleophile. So you can do an SN2 type of a reaction, and then finally you get your double bond back, okay? So a little bit of a nice long synthesis here.